Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this Saturday is National Purple Heart Day, a day dedicated to honoring service members who made the ultimate sacrifice on the front lines. It also honors military personnel who have suffered a life-altering injury due to combat. Now, one veteran-owned Hill Country restaurant is planning their second annual Purple Heart event this weekend. Compadre's Hill Country Cocina was just named Best Mexican Restaurant in Bernie by Explore Magazine. But they are much more than just great food. Take a look. The, the recipes are the same. We, st we stick with, uh, we'll never change, you know, the, the, my grandma's recipes, whether it's from the rice, the beans, uh, the, the queso fajita, that's my recipes. You know, it's kind of kind of something I just came up with. Um, but we do have a few new items. Uh, we kind of change it every now and then. Uh, you know, before we, we did brisket. You know, brisket was one of those items that was, it was, uh, it was an event every time we did it because we, we didn't have it all the time. So we did it maybe once a month, but this time we decided to do it uh, every Saturday for the summer. And I, it's, I mean, it sells out quick. Chef Mark Sierra is known in the Texas Hill Country for his delicious food. But Compadre's Hill Country Cocina is also a veteran-owned restaurant that takes pride in honoring the military. This event for us is, uh, again, uh, a way to actually show the recipients uh, our appreciation, not just via from me, my family, but also from the entire Texas Hill Country community and the uh, uh, a lot of sponsors, uh, small businesses really. Uh, this year I decided to go with small veteran owned businesses uh, because I'm, I'm just trying to keep that camaraderie there so it's a lot easier. Obviously our, our buddy, our gringo, Goldberg, he's gonna be here. Uh, Tamara's gonna be here with Bubba. Uh, this year we, we uh, added a couple more to the uh, lineup which are gonna be our guest speakers. Uh, I'm gonna have a uh, my retired Lieutenant Colonel that I served with in Iraq in my, my last tour, the uh, 09 2010. He'll be here. Uh, we're working with the local uh, Hope for Heroes, Brad Cornell. He's going to be a speaker. With everything going on, you know, uh, it's just important to uh, keep on instilling those uh, family traditions, values, the way we grew up. Like a lot of these other businesses around here, you go to Magas, it's family oriented. Mary's family oriented, you know, El Rio family oriented. So that's one of those things It's very important to us to keep the tradition alive, uh, to keep the true American values going, you know, where we can not just look out for ourselves, but as a veteran, it's one of those things where we feel like we have to look out for everybody else, uh, you know, lead by example, pretty much. This year's event is closed to the public, but you can support the family and veteran-owned business by stopping by and enjoying the delicious food. Everybody here, everything from uh, law enforcement to uh, first responders, uh, heck, even, you know, the uh, we get a lot of state troopers here, Border Patrol, uh, U.S. Customs, uh, Homeland Security, I mean, but the majority the you know uh, of what we get it, it is military and veterans so yeah and this the way you see it now that's the way it is every day <laughs> and the inspiration behind the food here chef mark's grandmother the inspiration of my grandmother she's the one that keeps me going i mean every every time i hit a milestone or or like you know we just got voted uh best mexican food in bernie for the explore magazine the so as soon as we found that out, I was just like, you know, it's 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 her it's her thing. So. All right. Well, Compadres is always finding ways to honor the military and first responders. So be sure to follow them on social media for upcoming events. And we have their links on salive.com. All you have to do is click on the as seen on SA Live tab.